All right, guys, welcome in. We've got our Dune monthly qualifier match. Very good lobby today. I'm joined today by my Russian comrades, Angelero, and Zis. What's up, boys? Hello. Angelero, say something for the fans. Everybody loves you. I think is he muted? Angelero is muted. Unmute yourself. Or maybe he's not here. Yeah, probably. Oh, I need him. I need him here. Alright, so I'm gonna introduce the players, okay? So we have um, this is our Harkonnen player. And our Harkonnen player today is Fizz. And um, Fizz is uh, definitely one of the stronger players. I expect a lot of, out of him in this match. And today he's playing... I don't know the counselors. Is this, you know the counselors better than me. Which two counselors is he running right here? Uh, Fate. That actually gives you plus 20% influence when you're pressing something. And you can use Lance Rod Corruption. And new one... Umar, Uman, I think something like this. This is some kind of a new Nifut. It basically speeds up your recruitment for 30% and gives plus one armor to your army. What do you think about his uh, counselor choices here? Uh, in my personal opinion, it's best counselors right now, but it's only personal. It depends from the play style. Right. Because, uh, first of all, if you pick the one who speeds up your recruitment speed, it's really important uh, in right. any kind of the fight because you can mess up and you can lose all your forces. And this guy makes a difference because in six days you can recruit full 65 CP army. Without right. him, it will take like nine days. And so he, it's yep. just to compensate influence production because Karkin maybe not probably the best uh governor player but you somehow compensates it right okay all right so then we're gonna go on to lock g i don't know much about lock g uh he is a smuggler main and he's playing smugglers today he's playing Stabon and lingar so Stabon gives you three underground uh headquarters and then lingar gives you plus 10 water and lets you do water cellars in the underground hq uh, I have seen him around in some um, previous matches. He, I haven't seen him do like a strong showing. So hopefully he's been uh, in the lab and uh, working on some of his game for sure. Uh, but we'll see what kind of smuggler he's going to run. You know, smugglers hey, is like one of uh, nothing, man. Hey, and this is also Kenry. Kenry's going to be commentating with us here. Um, Kenry's not my Russian brother from another mother. He's located here in the USA. Um, but yeah, we're just introducing the players right now. Are you guys able to hear uh, Cream? They shouldn't be able yeah, to hear yeah. me. You should, should be able to hear me. Aren't, aren't they uh, commentating? Yes, but the yeah, mic is big. commentating. Oh. Uh, okay. Are we good on the mic thing? Is everybody good? Should be better. Yeah, I hear you. Can I do it here, Cream? I don't hear anybody but you guys. I don't hear Cream, Carletto. Uh, then he serious. must he must have me muted. I don't know what's going on. No, I, now I hear you. Okay. Ah, uh, nice. All right. So anyway, we're just doing player introductions. So I was just on Lock G. He's playing Stabon Lingar. Uh, it looks I can't tell exactly what part of the map he spawned in. Uh, then we're gonna move on to Lo Logic, who's playing House Vernius. He's playing um. Okay, I don't know their names, okay, but he chose the far right counselor, which gives you the intel if you stop researching and one less infiltration level to assassinate. And with House Vernius, man, like this faction is right now like everybody's doing assassinations on this faction. They're a big threat. If you guys, if you guys don't know the uh, tech, they have a tech that lets you put in extra infiltration cells. So basically, if one of your territories borders House Vernius, it allows you to put in whatever territory is bordering, bordering where there's a neural node, it allows you to put in a infiltration cell that doesn't count toward your total. So you could have four, five, six infiltration cells on somebody 
And uh, you can see some politicking here. Logic wants to get into early truces with everybody. House Vernius does have a blue tech that lets you get influence and landsrad standing per truce you're in. It's called technological exchange. It's that first blue tech. So he's, you know, there's a double-edged sword on trading with House Vernius as House Vernius early. Uh, I'm going to let uh, Ken Reed explain that a little bit here because he, he's very well versed in House Vernius. What do you think about uh, early truces with House Vernius, Ken Reed? Yeah, it's definitely a double-edged sword. I mean, the, they, they get two knowledge per truce that they're active in. In addition, uh, you know, if, if you're accepting that truce as an Atreides player or a smuggler or a Hark, you're getting access to any technologies that Vernius researches. Uh, th this might let you actually go down a different path than you initially intended and prevent them from patenting something that you want. So you go early red tech if Vernius is going uh, yellow tech. Um, but the, the, the downside is really empowering Vernius, right? You're increasing their land strat, which they need to expand, and also to make analytic machines. Um, you're also giving them a lot of knowledge early that they can use to boom. Yeah. So as House Vernius, you can either trade with these people and get these benefits, or you can delay them getting any of your tech, which can slow them down. I'm actually starting to think I prefer to be in truce with people early just because i want that lands rad because for every thinking machine you have to buy on house vernius you have to sacrifice some lands rad um so the other counselor that he chose is the counselor that gives you one free airfield for your furthest neural node and it gives you minus 20 percent annexation costs um and so uh I don't like that counselor personally. Zis, what do you think? Do you think, what do you think? You know, the other obvious choice is the guy on the far left that lets you rearrange the asphalt in whatever way you want and uh, gives you re full refunds on the buildings. What do you think about the, the second counselor choice here? Mm, to be honest, I don't know because I didn't test this house yet. So actually, I'm not really experienced with house learners. So it's better you explain with Ken Ray. <laughs> Okay, no yeah, worries. This is, a, this is a good counselor because I, I think we discussed before uh, there are green texts that give you additional knowledge. Um, it's currently bugged right now. It actually gives you a little less knowledge than you're supposed to get. Um, but for the longest uh, nodal network connection you have, so if you take a, a look, he's uh, capping this territory now. Um, he'll have this long line stretching across all of his villages going through his main base. Each of those villages on the longest line you can draw is going to give, is supposed to give plus one knowledge. Um, and so it, it complements that tech by making uh, 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 regions that are not already connected to your empire um, cheaper to annex. So you can kind of make an even longer line, so to speak, and stretch a little further into enemy territory. Right. Um, so the question is, like, would you prefer to have the counselor that lets you rearrange the asphalt, or would you prefer to have the counselor which probably has a lot of use late game when you're trying to annex territories late for that minus 20% annexation cost. You know, that's something that you're going to have to decide for yourself when you're choosing Vernius. The other, the other counselor, um, the guy that gives you like the instant 200 influence for when somebody betrays you, you know, now that I see the benefit of trading with house Vernius, if you're trying to make some kind of lands rad play, which we still haven't like really figured out, there is a lands rad play to be made with this faction most people will generally consider them to be like weaker in the lands rad just because they have to sacrifice lands rad to buy thinking machines um that third counselor is probably not what a lot of people are running right now but there is definitely a play to be made there so we'll, i'm sure we'll come yeah, back another, another boon to that is it's just entering a conflict so you can be at peace with them maybe you're reliant on their red tech or their yellow tech if they have a clear war on you they'll get 200 influence you'll lose the access to those technologies You'll be at a comparatively weaker place than you were before the conflict started. So yeah. you can kind of dictate the pace, not just of um, technology, but also kind of your alliance and how people progress in the game. Right. Okay, and our, our fourth player here is Quarks. He's running Carino. He's playing Irulan and Fenring. Irulan gives you the extra spice heart. I mean, Irulan is a fantastic counselor. What do you guys think of Irulan? Do you guys think she's a must-pick? Yeah, in my opinion, definitely must-pick. Because only uh, extra crew trade, it's, it's already huge. Right. And on top of this, uh, she has old uh, Vinsikia trade. No, half of this, but still it's very strong. Right. No, I think she's, I she's think super she's, good. I think she's the most familiar 
you know, the people who've been playing pre-patch. It's the most familiar sort of play style for Carino. And so I, I think in that sense, people who are still kind of discovering each new counselor, um, she, she makes a lot of sense. I mean, what's the alternative, though? Oh, we can go into that some other time. <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah, we're going to have a lot of time to spitball here. Trust me. You know how yeah, these I games go. I think there's go. utility in some of these new counselors that give... Because, um, uh, again, right now, if Karina were in this game with uh, the counselor that gives you additional power when in uh, in Truce, he could certainly benefit uh, mutually with uh, uh, an alliance with Vernius, right? Vernius can expand into Harkonnen territory and, and contest their expansion. But Karina could actually protect using the airfields that uh, they're getting through that expansion uh, if they're allied to Avernius. Right. And any uh, kills after 10k uh, that's happening in Avernius territory if they're allied, they get right. 15 influence. So right. they could also create a big influence play by by supporting Avernius and being, you know, thriving off their technology, but defending them with their military. And to Avernius, that'd be a great bridge into the late game. So... Uh, while you were talking, he did, he built his first main base building. It was an admin hall in the three slot. Uh, what do you think about that choice? Anybody here? Kenry, give me something. All right, th this was who? This is the Carino player. He built the admin hall in the three slot. Interesting. <laughs> and so he's I, he's yeah. rushing T4 yellow. We could see he's rushing T4 yellow here. He likes money. That's, that's, that's okay. Angelero's here. What's up? There we go. Now we got the full crew. Yeah, he likes he money. Has, he's, he's got a lot of spice harvesters. Too. Yeah. He's so going to have a lot of crew. Makes a lot of sense. He'll be choming, I think. Yeah. Um, that that could be a thing. That can definitely be a thing. So the second other counselor is Fenring. Fenring allows you to discover... Um, POIs without having an agent on Arrakis, and he lets you discover uh, POIs that your regions are not bordering. So, I mean, I'm just going to give my opinion on Fenring real quick, and then you guys just jump in, like whoever. I think that Fenring is way more valuable than Gaius, the the one that gives you the uh, uh, double the vote on your Imperial Edicts in the lands rad because late game if you can steal these authority POIs from people and um, These Plas Creed POIs. I mean as Carino you're struggling to expand because the the way the Imperial base works is the further away you get from it the Harder it is for you to expand in, in terms of authority cost So I mean, I'm a big fan of Fenring I don't know what you guys are thinking. Like, Angulero, we want to get you in here. What do you think about this Fenring character? You, you, also, you also forgot to mention that they changed a little bit our right. your Fenring. Yes, so every POI you discover and you utilize it uh, increases the speed of agent's appearance So by one day. So you, you can speed up the amount of agents you have. It's also quite good. That's thing. huge. Yeah, and uh, it also doesn't matter how much agents you have in Arrakis. Uh, every discovery need only two days to be complete. So he's definitely better, and he he's quite. So good. they buffed I mean, him. They buffed yeah, him since yeah, last patch. Yeah. Oh, big big yeah. buff. But I still yeah, I think the other thing about stealing stealing texts that are near other people's bases, it's not just you getting the tech faster than they do. It's you're stealing from them that tech skip that they would want or that intel they would otherwise get. So you're also depriving people adjacent or on the other side of the map from you from getting these POIs. What were you going to say, Angelero? You had, I think you had one more thought there. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I can't say that he is like much better or even better than uh, the other consular. I forgot her name. Which, uh, Gaius, I, Helen Mohayim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still believe she is quite strong, and she like also can steal a resolution from everyone quite easily, and it's also a great option. Sometimes it can it can be game changing, and uh, I mean in the late game as Karina, you don't need authority that much because you have uh, tons of passive uh, hack income with uh, Irulan, and, like. Uh, we remove Vincinia, but now everyone uh, pick Irulan plus uh, any other counselor. So you, you still can get tons of hegemony production. It, it's not like you really need authority. But 
it's still quite usable thing. So can't say that Fenric is better, but he is quite good, extremely good. Right. Okay, so we have our second Landsrad Council here. We have um, Private Mandate, minus one spice, and information levels. I think Harkonnen's going to want to try to get this, but it looks like uh, Carino has more votes, and he didn't. Carino didn't use Imperial Edict here, so we don't know exactly know how this uh, vote's going to go. Um, how'd it go? How'd it turn out? I didn't see it on Fizz's screen. Uh, Vernius got hit with the pillaging. But also her code and taint. Okay, that's well. He doesn't really care about lands right anyway. As long as the pariahs don't appear, that happened to me on the in the qualifier match two nights ago. I was so low from buying thinking machines and I wasn't giving out truces that I was actually negative lands right. And toward the end of the game, right before the game was over, I had pariahs at my base trying to. Trying to take me down. Hey, Ziss, you're our resident Harkonnen expert here. So I'm looking at Fizz's setup. He's got a spice field on the right. He's going to cap another one on the left here. What's his like strategy here early game? We can see that he rushed T4 yellow tech. Like, Walk us through the mind of like a Harkonnen player here. What are we thinking here? Well, well I think he has some build the same. I, I'm using right now. Uh, he's trying to... Uh, fix any problems with his economy first, and then he will go full red, in my opinion, because he probably wants to defend against possible early aggression from Logic. I don't know how Logic will play House Higgs, and I don't know about this Well, let house. me just interject here for a second. It's very difficult to be early aggressive on House X because in the beginning, all you can uh -huh. afford is these mutoids, mut mutant sub -old soldiers, and they're not good for much. You can see he has a lot of CP on the left, Logic does, but they're all the sub -old soldiers. Mm -hmm. No, anyway, uh, maybe he afraid of Smuggler or something like this. No. In my opinion, anyway, as Harkin right now, and with new lay of the late technology, as you see, he's already have 10 knowledge. He will be pretty fast in yellow, and then he will go red and will be ready for defense and probably attack someone. And I think overall goal will be a hedge money and probably, probably charm. Depends. Depends from how much spice fields he will have in the end. If he will take four spice fields, then definitely he can go for a chomp. So, and he also has quite good uh, map layout. I mean, he has one, two, three, four, four uh, spice fields close to him, quite close to him. And he is definitely gonna be able to fight uh, Vernius to take them. So, from my point of view, he's in a good spot. I heard all that. I was on the phone, but I heard all that, Zis. Um, I, I agree with you. Um, do you like his opening so far on Hark? He's running. Yeah. He's running um, a bunch of low-cost units with a couple demo squads. He's running serves and demo squads. Do you like? Do you like how he's approaching the early game? Yeah, I mean it's fine. Okay. Mm. Let's 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 take a look Nothing at. Special. I want to I want to focus I want to focus on Fizz and Logic here because they're known quantities and they're generally considered some of the better players. So, uh, Kenry, what do you think yeah. about his opening here? He's building his. Uh, can, can I say something about yeah. the players because I have yeah, yeah. some experience <laughs> against playing against him? Of course. In my personal list, it's again it's again it's only my personal opinion as a player. Uh, Fizz probably mm, the greatest of all time. <laughs> Wow, big, that's big praise. Player. That's big praise. Yeah, because, you know, uh, he played this game literally from the very, very beginning, maybe from 2022. Uh, he didn't play much last half of the year. He didn't play much uh, in last patch. But overall, he's really experienced. At the point when he will figure out uh, current meta, he, at the point when he will figure out uh what factions can do is will again become i guarantee you one of the strongest player in this game he is very very smart he is very adaptive he is very creative 
he always try to play different. You never know uh, how he will play. Sometimes he can play er with early aggression. Sometimes he can play as turtle. Sometimes he can play Gav. Sometimes he play Chom. Like you never know. Never know what expect from him. And he yeah. has yeah. really good deep understanding. And one of his most strong sides is late game. This guy in late game always can surprise you. He can win even when you do not expect this. On the other hand, Logic probably, again, in my opinion, maybe um, one of the top three players right now in this game. I think he's definitely best rusher as smuggler in this game. He's the most aggressive player. Uh, he's maybe probably the best rusher in government play. So this is like, you know, the fights between uh, early game against late game style. Because in my opinion, Logic much better in the first half of the game and Fizz is much better in the uh, second half of the game. So regarding to other players, sorry, I never didn't ever play it against them, but who knows, maybe they are really talented and maybe they will surprise us. We, we would love to be pleasantly surprised. I agree with you on your analysis of these players. They're very, very good players. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump in here and talk about Fizz's Ixian opening. He's got two sub -olds. He's got a railgun drone. He's building two fighting mechs. This is early, uh, early uh, transition into mechs. What do you think about this, Kenry? I mean, he's making a lot of money. He's got 36. Uh, okay, look, dude, he's playing this faction fantastically right now. The, granted, the spice exchange rate is 3.3, .3, and he's selling all his spice right now, and he's got a nice bank going. He has 36 intel, and we're at the end of month two. How optimally is he playing this faction right now, Kenry? Is Kenry still here? Kenry is shocked. Like... Kenry's shocked by how good he's playing this faction. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna speak up on this matter. Uh, Angular, how much experience do you have on X? Can you comment here, or do you want me to just roll with it? Uh, well, I'm not not that experienced in current in current patch. I mean, uh, I didn't play them that much, but uh, whenever I tried them, uh, I couldn't reach so much knowledge. For example, till this moment, that's my personal skill issue. I'm not good with Vernus right now, but uh, right. uh, for me, it looks quite impressive. Yeah, he's playing them really well. I'm just telling you straight up right now. Um. He could he could probably have I would love to see what tech tree order he went. You can see he's already got an infiltration cell queued up on Harkonnen. He's probably thinking Fizz is a threat. I'm thinking Fizz is a threat. I'm not even in the game. So um he's playing them super optimally. He's got five spice harvesters. Five. Okay. And um He's making a lot of money. He's banking Solari early. You need that Solari bank because all of these units cost incredible amounts of money so he's definitely going to capture that spice field to the north the spice field to the west of his main base is safe the spice field in the middle is is going to be contested there's no question and then where's that where's the rest of the spice is there another spice that one to the to the s slightly north of his main base is definitely in his in his pocket um and then there's probably one to the south and that is probably going to be contested too by Hark. So fit, he's got, a, man, this is like a great opening for, for him, dude. To have five spice harvesters early, dude, this is so good for him. Um, let's jump over to our uh, smuggler player, Lockji. Angulero, you're a resident smuggler expert. Get, go ahead, let it rip, man. What do you got over here? I still believe that uh, a smuggler can like one uh, strategy and uh, as this strategy relies on uh, taking as much as you can at the beginning uh, and farm passively craft workshops. I mean, he has uh, free spice fields and uh, the amount of spice production isn't that impressive, you know, so I don't know. I mean, he also went for a cl classic combo like uh, Staban plus uh, Linger. And uh, I can see how much Underworld Headquarters he already put. But according to the amount of money he does, well, 
He's doing fine. I mean, no, he... only one, only one. You can check the hegemony income, and as you see, it's only plus one. Yeah, this means yeah, you have yeah, only yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, you are right. You are definitely right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not that. I'm not that good. So according to the fact, I didn't think about it. Yeah. Uh, so I just don't know how he gonna win. I mean, he looks like. Let's just call it what it is, man. He's just. He's probably. He's probably not the most experienced player. He's definitely not playing like a Vahutal or an Angolero type of smuggler, right? And, and and if you think about it, if you think about some of the changes that were made to smuggler in this patch with the counselor that makes it harder, or with the, is it a counselor that gives him that? To get, to make it harder to capture a village that's not, that's not bordering any villages? Uh, I mean, first of all, he didn't pick it. Uh, second uh, of all, I, I, I'm not sure that there is no point to pick this counselor in my point of view because right no no but but the point but the point i'm making is there's like an optimal way to play this faction and the developers recognize that and then they even made a counselor to play around this play style which is basically what you described earlier you just capture spice and specials you pillage everything else and then you have a lot of open territory near or around you that you can capture late game for what you need right like am i wrong in that assumption a little bit you ignore spice fields because the amount of money you make from uh, spice production isn't right that great but you take you one you just take one but you take your yeah. your natural spice is exactly. right yes yeah, i mean the only problem we have right now is uh, stakhanov uh, that's how new council lore is uh, named uh it doesn't uh, affect uh, craft workshops so plus a 20 percent bonus doesn't affect craft workshops if it uh, was otherwise it would be the best of the best is it supposed to or is it not supposed to uh, that's a good question uh, i believe that it is but uh, i mean there is uh, no, uh, it, the way it's written, as, as far as I remember, it's gonna give you, uh, it's supposed to give, but it's not like plus 20% resource production, it's total production. So it means that it's supposed to give, but it doesn't. So maybe, maybe it's another bug in our <laughs> beautiful game right now. Yeah, maybe, like, oh, maybe it's a little wait, bugged. Gonna... Um, okay. So that's our smuggler. Anything else you want to add on smuggler before I move to the Carino player? Or no? The only, the only question I have about smuggler is what, what win condition he is pursuing. You know, I just can't understand the whole game plan behind. That's all. Okay. All right, we're going to go on to Lock G. And uh, I mean, uh, on to Quarks. All right, I'm gonna riff here a little bit. I've got a little bit of Carino experience, you know what I mean? <laughs> so he chose he chose not to bunker. He chose not to bunker Carino. He put his second main base out on the right flank. He's getting his Harvester harassed right now by the Smuggler player. He's recalling the Harvester. He's choming pretty good. He's got a lot of money. Um, he's got 23 CP out. Is he is he playing the is his opening optimal? He's researching red tech right now. He's got 10 research. Uh, I kind of, I kind of like the main base over there. At the same time, I don't like. It's, it's only one way to it, and it's through that territory unless somebody wants to uh, cross the deep desert, and go on a little stealth operation to, to destroy a main base with some hidden explosive, which a smuggler is very capable of. Um, his map layout. He's got sandfall to the north. He might be able to make a play for the sink, but it kind of looks like the sink is closer to smuggler. And I'm not really sure actually why he put the main base all the way out there because it doesn't give him any benefit. What you really want to do with the main base is you want to either bunker down next to your original base or you want to make sure that the main base is close to a lot of special territories so that you can... Uh, annex them for cheaper and then use the main base to defend them because it's an airfield it's a missile turret so it's got all that but he's he used the main base solely just to acquire this spice field which for carino i don't think is actually worth it considering how much spice yeah, harvesting yeah, carino can yeah. perform with two spice fields which he already has am i wrong here no i'm totally agree with you because i think it's not a best decision to place your main base that has a border only with two regions and this two regions not even specials 
just to place it because of the spice fields mm, i don't know because also in current uh patch it's really hard to by the way destroy. sorry to interrupt here now that i'm looking at the lands rad look what look what up look what lands rad vote is on the left okay so that means somebody's pulling some assassination for shenanigans already but go ahead go ahead Oh yeah, I mean, current patch, uh, you can be more aggressive with your second base placements and you should not worry too much that someone can kill it fast. So there's clearly an assassination going on. I'm going to hop yeah, over yeah. to Logic's screen because he's definitely the guy it's, it's assassinating. Logic. It's yep. definitely Logic. Yep. Um... Look at this tech tree. So I just got I just got a good glimpse of Logic's tech tree. He went for the wiring tech, which is the T4 blue for Vernius, and uh, he has that tech that we were talking about earlier that allows him to place an infiltration cell near a region that's bordering one of his neural nodes. It looks like he's attacking the Harkonnen here with early pressure. He's got 52 CP. He's got Five fighting mechs, one sub -old, two flight engineers, two resonant drones, and three rail guns. That's pretty strong. That's pretty strong. I didn't see any patents on the map. But is he ca he's capturing. So I told you this was going to be a, a point of contention, this spice field. He doesn't want to give up this spice field. Now I'm wondering how Fizz is going to respond here. He's got some early, early action in this game. Fighting over spice. Fizz also has 52 CP out. What do you think? What do you think, Zis? Do you think Fizz can uh, take this army out? Mm, I don't know. The problem is that he has uh, more CP that he can afford. And he has some debuff. I do not remember what it's this debuff It's minus 50% strength. It's a lot. Ah, it's a lot, yeah. Then, then he can't defend right now. He needs to wait. Right. Logic, he needs to uh, remove early aggression. few units. So, but yeah, I, even if he removes, he won't be able to defend. So, he's gonna give up. No, he's gonna go for it. Here he goes. He's underestimating right. this Ixian army. This Ixian yeah. army is about to. Yeah. I haven't lost one late game fight to Harkonnen yet. He's got. Yeah, look at the look at the brilliance of the no, play though. Look at the look at weather. the assassin. Look at the assassin positioning on the north. He's gonna bring that assassin down to take out the flight engineer. Very well done. However, there's still one more flight engineer buffing all these units. The Harkonnen army with the operations. Can it really do this here? Can it really do this? The flight engineer is still healing. The fighting mechs are. Alive, he's got 33 CP out. Logix units are trying to stay alive, man. Those those um those little agents that come out of the ground for sleeper agent, they're all gone at the moment. Fighting mechs still tanky, still alive. That that flight engineer is worth his money in gold. Like holy crap, that flight engineer kept that army up, and that's a loss for Fizz. So Fizz is gonna have to hightail it out of there. Those gunners are max vet. He probably is trying not to lose those. Unfortunately, he probably will. Logic wins the fight. How'd you guys like that engagement there? Maybe not the best engagement for Hark. You know, with the current with the current changes to how uh, executioners get buffed with kills, you really want to send in those herbs first to really take yeah, the brunt of the damage. And he had only three executioners. It's not really much. Uh, you will see. When he will have, for example, only uh, five Cerberus and all other army will be executioners, it will be absolutely different. Do you think that the late game Hark army can win against the Ix? Is this? Honest, I don't know. Again, just because I didn't play it. Ix, I didn't fought uh, Ix. I don't know, but I definitely sure that late game Hark and the army probably one of the strongest right now. And it's just with you straight too. Serbs and Executioners, that's it. No AoE, no kind of no kind of explosive units, nothing. Just demo because units. of the Executioners. Yeah, just because of the Executioners, because as far as you can notice, average base damage uh, is around 18 power, and there's not many sources how you can improve this base power. You can improve, like, base, uh, uh, you can improve bonus damage. For example, you have 18 power right. and some plus 50 uh, bonus damage. Wait a second here. Har not... Looks like it looks like Hark is trying to. He's he's relinquished the spice field, but he's trying to either pillage or 
or take the observatory mountain is Logik sitting on the border right there. He's not sure if he's going to deny him the, the annex. It looks like it's going to be a pillage because he has no authority. And Logik now coming out with even more units. Logik's army is looking really scary. But uh, yeah, there is, you're right, there is no way to get, very few ways to get the base power up of any unit at the moment because all the buffs have been changed. For example, your three district military now has plus 10% military health as opposed to plus two power. Yes, so yes. it's That's totally different now. Important thing that not He's going for a spice field here. Nurse. Logic taking another spice field. This guy is unbelievable right now. One of his spice harvesters is not harvesting. I'm, I'm wondering why. Oh, because he built a fresh one. Now he's going to have six. Six spice harvesters on this guy. Unbelievable. Go ahead, bro. Sorry about I, that. I, I, think that. I think that engagement Hart could have won had the Cerberus has died before the main engagement and executioners could use those deaths. Each extra power yeah. they're getting could also be thought of as yeah. negating a point of armor on each of those mechs that he just died to. Um, and he did the right thing going after the back line first, trying to take out his engineers. But I think the resonance drones right now, um, the, the AOE splash damage they have is, is really, really hard to counter with melee units. So I think Logic is going to be our first player to crack 10k hedge here. Just going to double check all the numbers. Uh, yeah, Quarks is uh, way behind. He's only got 5k. I guess it's kind of normal as Carino, but... Um, yeah, Logan cracking the 10k head, so he's leading hedge right now. He's got six spice harvesters. He's got a maxed out CP army. Of, I mean, he's playing them pretty optimal. He he went with two flight engineers. When I saw Fizz play them, he had three flight engineers. He's gonna deny Hark the cap here. Hark is fighting within range of his missile turret. Is that gonna make a difference? Because Logic does have a a beefy army he not still can't yet. look at the not pro yet. play here he's moving the units to the very rim of that border logic now denying the cap the missile turret is now in play hark still capping fizz with excellent micro here positioning his units really well within range of the missile the mistake turret. that fizz is doing right now if you can see he has 10 agents and no agents that produce intel how would he how would he yeah. produce intel right now you should place it in some all faction. the votes are going on x for minus spice from fizz by the way oh he needs to place agents on okay on counter on the faction information levels yes yep. yes okay that seems to be the only way to generate intel in this new patch it's a lot different than like last patch but like for, her, for heart you can also receive intel if you're pillaging but as you see fizz is busy right now and he's not pillaging so Right. Not have insult, and he must have insult for his EMP operation against. Yeah, an EMP operation there would have been really decisive, and I, I think he could have taken that engagement in this territory and actually wiped the the X army. And again, look at his economy right now. This just He's got, at minus he just lost the fuel cell region. He just lost the White Rift down south. That that hurts. They got liberated by these steroided out uh, raiders that we have these days. Yeah, if, if if Harkonnen is able to get a good EMP off and and take a chunk out of that army, if you look at the the Ixian eco, he's on he's on how many harvesters? Six harvesters, making negative seventy nine. He has two point six in the bank. He will not be able to rebuild a fraction of this army if he loses it. So there's a way to grind down Ix in the late game. I think that he's but also it, not, it not selling a lot of spice at the moment. I mean, Here I'm, we go. Sorry, I'm sorry that we're Let's focusing so heavy on operations. these two players right now, but, but it's it's obviously that that's where the action is. I like the three resonance drones there. I think he could use a fourth, but I think this composition is is is, is composition is pretty meta, and he's this is like the worst case scenario for Harkonnen in early game. What you really want to be doing is you kind of want to be running around, making stupid amounts of Solari, get the 5K, get as much intel as you can from pillaging, and and then yeah, he, he's focusing on fighting mechs that have eight armor right now and they're now we're going to the back line yep that, and there you go but i think it was too late yeah the heart i i my experience has been that the harkonnen army ex struggles extremely highly with fighting vernius at the moment and uh yeah this is a yeah, Har harkonnen with no intel is not going to be a very potent harkonnen yeah, right. yeah. Even without MP, he should have combo drug 
at least. He also needs flipping agent operation. With all of this, he could probably easily win this fight. But without any operations, it will be a problem. Right. Perhaps the old Harkonnen might have stood a chance there, but he's he's not optimized his army to deal with this. But again, I mean, here here's the other thing. Is let's take a look at Ix's um lol get screen real quick. Uh healing in combat does cost him Solari. And when he runs back into the range of his engineer and begins trying to heal, as you see is he'll bring his hero up to heal, right. you'll you'll watch his eco plummet. He's gonna be right. bankrupt after right. this. Right. Which is again, uh, this is he, really for the he bonus. He can sell Arcona. spice though. He has a lot of spice that he's stacking. And and there you go. See, he just hit the yeah, slider all the way down, and now he's got plenty of money. Yeah. Um, so all right. So he so ice tech. Not careful. On this side of the map, we have Ixian dominance over the Gidi Prime. And uh, as far as the other two players go, Lockji is okay. So Lockji has got Lockji is kind of playing meta smugs at the moment. Are you guys seeing this? And this is all because Harkonnen's is distracted yeah. by Ix. He can cap regions in Harkonnen's backline. Look at that. And he's doing exactly as we said, Angelero. He's got the he's got specials, a spice, and that's it. Looking pretty good, huh? Not well, not really just because again he's not using any underworld headquarters. Like that's why he has some problem with eco right now. True. True. Angelero, what kind of underground headquarters should he be placing? Pretty simple. Every m most most of the time, you use every uh, underworld quarter extension from uh, Lingard, plus 50 salary and plus free water. And uh, the third one depends on the region you are. Using. Looks like he's now starting to get these set up. I think he just did a main base. It's not the. Same. Oh, is that a main base? Yeah, these are main base buildings that he's putting. He's not. I thought he put an next main base. That was all, not there. No, I don't. Yeah. I... I don't know. I'm not he sure. Put one, yeah, he, he put one uh, underworld headquarter near the main base and one in the main base. But I mean, he just wanna. It looks like he just wanna finish uh, Harkonnen with uh, Vernus, like their uh, bro, bro, team bro. <laughs> Harkonnen, what a, did you man. see? What building he put in Karthik here? Did you see what uh, he actually? Oh. Yeah, uh, the one which gives you Explosives. plus two armor. No, well, plus two armor oh. when you are on enemy territory. Oh, he smells blood. He does smell blood. He's got a supply drop going, but he didn't use supply drop in the region that he's attacking. So this is yeah. not not so great. And then here comes Shai Halud. Oh is, no. Is he going to make it there? Okay, he ate oh. a little bit. He ate about 10 CP right there. Now we have an interesting fight here. This will be great. He does smell blood in the water. What do, you, what do you think about this move? He's, his units are cloaked, so Hark doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. He's about to get ambushed, I think. And there he goes. Brilliant. This is great. Wow, dude, hero. good play. Oh my god, the worm. Oh, another shy Halud. Raban tries his best to survive on Arrakis. <laughs> yeah, looking... poor feast in this game. Really, really, really unlucky. This is just an ambush. Yeah. In the meantime, you know, this is like a dream scenario for Carino. Uh, you're left alone. You can just buy Chome, get all your tech out. Right, Carino. Yeah. I mean, the spice exchange rate is low. He's still making three point three hundred twenty-eight salari a day. He's got three spice harvesters. They're, they're, his manpower is pitiful, dude. He's got fifteen CP. This guy. So this is one of those production games. This is what I was talking about, man. And and I was I was hoping to see as we move into some of these later rounds that we wouldn't get these kind of things. But if you're coming out of the out of month two and month three with production issues, where you don't have the manpower to, to staff your harvesters, like these harvesters should be fully staffed right now, and they're not. You're fully and so, stacked, and, and again, he's on three harvesters. We we've seen people sustain a late game on uh, Karina Army. No, it's one. not about yeah, but it's not about necessity. It's just about optimal optimal gameplay at the moment. Yeah, yeah. We're not we're just not seeing it, and uh, so Karino he's got an infiltration cell. He's researching. I don't know what that's gonna do for him at the moment he might be trying to assassinate the king of assassins vernius um yeah I, I don't see him as a factor at the moment but we'll see how the rest of the game plays I, out. I, I don't really see uh 
China being very strong in this game right now. His buildings aren't built out in his villages. Um, he's got he's go floating for, he's floating one point nine. 1.9k plascrete. All right, so and but he's doing a good job of capturing villages at least. He's not floating too much authority. So you you want to make sure that you're using all your resources, right? You don't want to have 1.9k plascrete stacked up, especially with plascrete being as hard to get as it is. I'm not sure what happened in the uh, lands rad, but somebody's having to laugh about it. Quarks is. So Carino, not much of a factor here at the moment. Um, Logic's still sitting on close to 65 you know, CP. There, there might be a benefit here to Carino also declaring war on Harkonnen now. Um, if the Carino, or sorry, if, if Harkonnen's still there in 50 days, they could get a third uh, main base for Carino. Um, and they might actually him. benefit he's from being, He's being up. sandwiched. Oh. Why? Why is he doing this? Why are they doing this to poor Fizz? They must have heard. They must yeah. have heard Ziss's analysis. <laughs> yeah, the no, but in my opinion, maybe it's not was a best move from the smuggler because uh, what the point for smuggler if Harkin will die? It's terrible it only for him. Means it's terrible because X will have no any resistance to win this game. Right. Actually, he should. And they're one of the fastest expanders. Game. Vernius is one of the fastest expanders. So if Harkin dies here. He just has free reign on that side of the map, right? Yeah. I I I will uh I would agree with you, Carletto. An astute analysis. Uh, we've muted Carletto, so whatever he's saying, oh. we, can't, <laughs> we can't hear. I can't, I can't I can't mute that man. I know it's too funny, but I can't. We can't we can't in our right mind put his commentary on uh dude monthly. Oh, well, that, that's what the world needs right now. Or can this we? Is, um, this is very smart. Some harvester harass. It looks like Harkonnen is circling. Dude, the he's going here. for the base kill. Okay, and we love to see it, and we hate to see it. He's got one fighting mech out there just tanking the the missile turrets yeah, and the rest of his army. Gameplay. <laughs> right. So he can certainly really do this with the defense breaches. You can take a ton of health off of yep. the main base. He's got his but flight in engineer range. set up. And he's in range of a few different missile turrets, though, so he's actually also at risk here. He's using supply drop for the flight Arcane. engineer. Um, he's got to get that. Yeah, get the flagship over to their tank, bro. Come on, act like you've done this before. Come on, Logic. Okay, is he gonna? He's probably gonna pillage that village up north. Yeah, I think he's trying to stop this missile. To turret stop the firing. missile turret, he's right? Do a lot gonna, of yeah. yeah. And Again, once once that village this, is pillaged, to oh. move the main base, main move the mothership so you can't get attacked. Might lose his hero here, huh? He's gonna lose. He's gonna hero or uh, sorry, engineer rather. No, he's got there supply go. drop there, but he needs that engineer. So you you see the damage he's doing is virtually nil to the main base if he puts defense breaches on there he's not attacking the main base at the full. moment he's focusing uh the the production he's focusing of fizz. Buildings. there we go my goodness supply drop goes down for that flight engineer the serbs are just getting melted Base killing is hard in this patch, man. Base killing is hard. Okay, he's running the units in now. Yeah, he, he has what he needs to actually do a base kill with Vernius, right? He has his drones. He has to put them at range to get the bonus on the rail guns. Yeah. Let's put defense breaches on this base. He's going back to heal the mothership. The hero of Harkonnen is... You know, I, I believe he could heal the mothership in enemy territory with the hero. With the flight engineer? Does it only apply to drones or wait? Does the hero be? have the flight engineer ability? Yeah, it has its own repair ability. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. It can it, it can also attack while doing it. Okay, so he goes back for the heal. This gives Fizz some breathing room. This is maybe I, I think staying in enemy territory and capping or decapping and healing using the engineer. 
might have been a better choice here. You can really keep up the tempo and keep he Hark went on the all field. drones. He doesn't have en any engineers, so he's going to be relying on the hero yeah. to do all the healing. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So he's banking some intel now, not researching anything. And the amount of in income is insane. 81. For Logic, I mean, he's got six spice harvesters. Six, count them. Six. Biz now trying to run some diversion. He's trying to liberate the spacing cruiser wreck. I don't think Logic really cares. I think all Logic sees is blood. Harken and blood will be spilled on Arrakis. He disbands a unit and he builds a flight engineer. He realizes the weakness in his comp, but he can still heal off of the off of the hero. Still heal off the hero, exactly. He should be attacking from Alafir, that northern territory, because it's bordering a nodal region. He'll be tethered. Right. He needs to be under his be tethered or right. adjacent to that region. So attacking from that northern region, decapping that base or taking it, uh, he could easily take out the Harkonnen base here. It's the composition that he just to make sure Harkon doesn't rebuild anything. Yep. That's good analysis right there. Positioning, 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 positioning. You gotta have good positioning sometimes, especially if there's some clips. The rail guns. Use. See it range? That was one shot from a rail gun. It took off a decent chunk from the from the missile turret. Hmm. He was able to get a militia back. Now this is gonna buy the main base some time. Look at all the yeah, electrostatic the shocks coming off of this army. This army is so cool. Yeah, the, those shocks dude. do about 100 damage per day, which it doesn't sound like a lot, but with where HP is for a lot of the lighter units, um, it can add up over long combat. Oh, oh the hero unit. The hero unit is bleeding out from yeah. supply. He, he's making we supply get drop. Supply circle. He needs to put it on a supply circle and it'll stop bleeding out. Supply circle of what? Uh, of the... Uh, of the base that he's uh, capping. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. You just put that engineer there, set up base, and then allow the, the Jeez, mechs to... Jeez, man. To this is so rough for Fizz. He, Fizz drew the... Fizz drew two unlucky straws. He drew the PM SAG straw in the first round, which nobody likes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Nobody likes that straw. That straw is cancer. And now he draws the 2v1 straw in the second round, dude. Fizz, man. It's kind of sad to see it. PM Sag's in my chat, by the way. I hope you heard that. The tournament organizer. Everybody give a shout out to PM Sag, dude. Doing a great job running the tournament. The dude's dope. Great tournament director. Bad FFA player. But hey, let's not. Let's not get into it, PM. We're not going to get into it. So he, he Look needs at to Fizz. Put, Look uh, at Fizz. Fizz is a brawler, guys. Like respect, okay? He's got missile turrets everywhere. He's not beautiful. giving he's not making this easy for Logic at all. And this is not gonna be an easy base kill. I don't care what anybody oh my says. God. Raiders also. <laughs> oh no, it's bad luck, dude. If that village goes under rebellion, it's not gonna be able to shoot missile turrets anymore. Okay, this is it. This is the full funnel assault. We've got the mothership tanking. We've got the flight engineer and the hero healing. There we go. There's defense admin breaches. Burden, admin burden, defense breaches. This is it. it. This is it. If if he can't no. do it with this, then it can't be done, guys. That base there, killing is a, not impossible. The downside is uh, he needs to pull his rail guns back further. Okay, now you can't tell if they're tethered or not. No, he's, um, he's backing up. All those operations just went to dirt. He's making 94 until a day. He doesn't care. Yeah, this is a little bit unusual. He should really be staying at that northern territory and snipe him, but he, he might have something else on his mind. I'm not sure what it is. No, man, I'm just telling you, Fizz is bunkering in. Fizz is like, listen, you want to you wanna do this to me? You want to do this to me? I'm going to make this as hard as possible. Logic now pivoting into crafts workshops because he knows that the longer this siege goes on, ideally the other players should be like benefiting from this. I'm going to Carino's screen. Carino with 12 CP and... 44 a hedge a day. On who? On Carino? On, um, on Logic. On Logic. So yeah, Carino's got no passive. He's still below 10k. Hark oh, is sorry, asking him for Solari and Spice. Carino declines, dude. Carino is not helping Hark at all. All right, Carino's a non-factor in this game. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Lock G.
And I'm not trying to be rude. I'm yeah. just calling this objectively speaking. Carino's got to work on his production. So, smugglers with 45 hedge a day, I think, is what um, probably okay. going to go back. Okay. He just took dinner as well. Okay, here we go. So we're going to have ourselves a hedge race, okay, depending on what happens to Fizz. Fizz can maybe hope for some kind of lands rad victory here, or he can play spoiler. But uh, Smug and and, uh, and uh, Vernius are going to kind of like duke it out for the late game, it seems, at the way it stands right now. He's going back in. I'm going Looks back like to, to take here. out. Yeah, he's attacking again. Attacking Arconan again. Yep. He might as well just capture that region. I mean, why not? He needs the hedge anyway. Yeah, Logic definitely want to finish the job because don't forget the Harkonnen can take all those regions with 50% discount. So probably, yes, right now he has only <laughs> three regions. But it will be not a problem for for him to cap like four or five regions pretty fast. So yeah, Logic will try to eliminate this here. Yeah, he should be leaving one railgun in each region to keep them occupied. And then be rushing the base to prevent him from recovering too much. But he, he can certainly get the DPS down. out and take this out. Yep. We're going to counter intel. Dude, the amount of intel they make is so insane. This faction is so insane when you play them right. I love this faction. I'm trying to win the tournament on this faction. I'm telling you right now. They, they are right now very, very strong. Um, They're definitely A, A to S. Somewhere in between. Yeah, he, he certainly he has enough rail guns here to actually take out this space with operations. Just do it. So we all we all want to see it. Make the please the crowd, Logic. Please. Oh, no. Can we see the Hark POV? Yeah, we can see the Hark POV. He's just getting kited around, hit by missile turrets, right? He's got now no he's production. Now he's, he's, he's got no manpower. He's just making this painful. I'm telling you, base killing is not worth it. It's not worth it, it. It it is it is it is not as hard to do as people think it is, uh, but he he has all the tools to do it right now. I it's a little I'm not entirely sure why he's not going after it to be honest. Yeah, it's the same. Like just take uh, don't don't village. Take a village. And right. Take that village north next to him because it, it's already tethered. And then do a proper siege, right? And do a proper siege, not like this. Um. Like, okay, I got a question. Drones I got here. a I got a question in the chat. Would you say Ix is the strongest faction in the game this patch? What do you guys think? Right now, I think so. Yeah. Strongest? I, I believe they're the strongest right now. They have an AOE drone, good amount of armor. They have uh, uh good tanky units. They have a massive knowledge boon, and the way that all their stuff interacts, they're a lot stronger than I think people give them credit for. Being able to heal, if you look right now, see he's healing everything in enemy territory. He could be doing this while sieging down the base, and it's really just he's paying Solari for for um for, for the repair. Like he can he can take out this base, or could have already had taken it out with those operations he had. Uh, his his railguns need to be further away to get the bonus damage, doing admin burden. Um, yeah, if he I, pulls his railgun back, they'll do more damage and right, bypass I, the arm. I'm going to go out and say that Ikaz and Ix, Fremen are clearly unplayable, so we don't talk about Fremen. I think Ikaz, Ix, Carino, and Smuggler are the better factions right now. So so take a look at each volley he's getting on this base. He's yeah. chucking it back. Uh, right he moves his drones right back now, demo unit killed flagship. Freeze with one unit, just destroy it. The X flagship. <laughs> this is making this as, as painful as possible. <laughs> I gotta respect. You gotta respect it, right? Respect the fizz. God, okay, look how tanky those uh, fighting mechs are with the with the yeah, and they're, and they're getting healed right now too. Yeah, right? the main base is doing zero damage net overall. Dude, if I'm Carino, I'm flying over here and I'm saving. Dude, I don't know what this Carino player is doing. I mean, I had this situation. Carino. I had this situation two nights ago where Horace Rod drops a base outside of Smuggler. I'm over there saving Smuggler, right? I, I, I do not like this. If I'm Carino, I don't like this. I don't like the fact that my opponent has the whole south side of the map to himself after he eliminates this. I can't just be sitting back. But the, again, the Carino player is still suffering from production issues. He doesn't have his villages built out correctly, so... Um, 
you know, that's kind of like an X factor in this game. Uh, I think Fizz drew the short straw on the fourth player here because if it was a, a more competent fourth player, then uh, I think Fizz would have an easier time. There'd be some Sardaukars offered. There'd be some tre treaties, truces. There'd be Carino units flying across the map. But this is this is uh, not not the way it went for Fizz, unfortunately. So Fizz targets down the flight engineer. He's still fighting. <laughs> look look how hard it is to kill a main base, man. Come on, dude. These devs, dude. This is making me. This is yeah, driving me crazy. I was the king of base <laughs> killing. I, I can't possibly kill a base in these conditions. Somebody. Oh yeah. Not only if, the if, base if, if he moves oh. his drones back, he'll do more damage with them. Significantly more damage per shot. So he needs to take his rail guns and pull them back so they're at max range and tethered. And they'll be bypassing the armor of Karthag completely. Which is kind of what you need to, to optimize the, the base killing for this faction. I know. And Karino, had they declared war on Hark before and broken that truce, Karino would be sitting on another main base once once they're dead. So they were almost incentivized to almost pile on. Wait, doesn't or, it count on who gets the last hit? Like, if Carino, that's the way it is, then they should definitely be over here trying to wipe it, right? Correct. But Carino is not... Um, he's got yeah. a long way to go in this yeah. game, so it's okay. Zis, what were you going to say? Mm, what? Uh, never, never mind. I thought you were going to say something um, about base killing. Ah, I just want to say that, uh, yes, it's of course hard to kill the main base, but just don't for for forget. He's also that not actually... tethered, by the way. Somebody's saying he's not tethered, but I think he just dropped the operation in there to be tethered. Go ahead, Zis. So, Fizz uh, defended <laughs> as much as possible. Yeah, I think 90% yeah. of players will drop this game somewhere in the beginning. Right. But Fizz still <laughs> trying to do any kind of damage. And look. Look, right now, smugglers already have more than 20,000 hegemony, while yeah. Vernus only 15. Yeah. That's why uh, that's why Vernus is going to pivot into assassination of smug, because Correct. he has quite a lot of territories. And it won't be so easy for him to defend. Correct. But, yeah, I mean, it's... Guys, the base so... kill is not guaranteed to win you the game. Ask Al Slayer, okay? Everybody knows. Everybody knows the base kill is no guarantee. He's not tethered now because his operation ran out. He can just drop the operation again, but I don't know if... I, I think he should or, actually... or if you're in that region north that he was adjacent to before, that was tethered from an adjacent node. But it looks like he actually lost a region there. He did lose yeah, a region. He lost, uh... Yeah, so now he's no longer tethered in that adjacent region either. He lost either. that special right there to, to the steroided out Arnold Schwarzenegger type of rebels that rebels that run around. It's Karthag. Okay, there goes Karthag. GG to Fizz, man. Good try, dude. You got the short straw, dude. Damn, that really sucks. The Smug's at 21.5k. Yeah, he's going straight for the White Rift, by the way. He's got 439 authority. He's looking to spend that authority as fast as possible. Um... I'm just going to check in on Quarks. I don't want to keep, like, uh, you know going here and saying that this guy doesn't know how to play the game but he's still in the game oh he's generating three manpower um all right so Tips. real quick real quick on the on the tips i think you did a good job of picking the right counselors those are two pretty meta counselors the second main base drop you got to think about uh because it doesn't give you a lot of utility it's not near any special regions and that one spice field is definitely not worth it your villages uh, hopefully you watch this video later and you hear all this your villages they're not built out you have so much plastic you can build out endless amounts of villages you definitely did not want harkonnen dying in this game because now both of your opposing factions you're cut off completely from that side of the map they have access to that side of the map and uh, your manpower, you have three manpower, bro. You really need to, I mean, you're doing a good, he's choming, guys. He's got a 22, maybe he's got something going. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's not building buildings in an army because he doesn't want the upkeep so he can just chome. You know what I mean? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> never, never count anybody out on dude. Is there any other game that you've played where you've seen somebody that looked like they were completely out of it come back and win like this game? I don't no, know. I think you have too possible. low income. 
Yeah. I have only plus 200. I know, sis. One. I'm just so trying to, I'm just trying to really shine up a turd for... over here, you know? I'm trying to put lipstick on a pig <laughs> okay, over here. I'm just okay. trying to, you know, give some kind of encouragement to our Carino player. Yeah, okay, let's hope for the best. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, gonna change something. Okay, but by, by the way, he is going for assassination of Smack, so... Right. Who knows? I right, mean, so he's got, can... let's count the free cells. He's got one free cell on the sink. If Smuggler takes this region here, that'll be two free cells. Uh, if he takes the uh, Observatory Mountain. But here comes the, here comes Logik's army. I don't think he wants him to even pillage. Yeah, he's pillaging it. That's a great yeah. play by Smuggler here. Oh, great oh, play by Smuggler. If he, he can... breaking the... truth? Who? This might yeah. be a betrayal, which is a huge mistake. He needs to break that uh, the right way. Smuggler coming off with the pillage, delaying the capture of Observatory Mountain. Definitely does not want Logik to capture that region. Good play here. Lockji, I told you he was a sleeper, dude. I played against him before. He's not bad. Not bad. Oh, Shai Halud. Logik did blood. capture the White Rift, so he's going to get double uh, Crafts Workshop production for a single Craft Workshop down there. That's good. Logic with uh, 24 passive hedge cannot hold a candle to Smug's passive hedge, who's sitting at 68. Have seen uh, if he's obfuscated a tech yet? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. I haven't this seen would a be tech an opportunity, right? To, the to craft punish workshop Smuggers. tech? The craft, craft workshop, workshop tech? tech. And then but that, that punishes has, him uh, too. He can't catch up either. That's a double-edged sword. Yes, no? It's true, but he can expand faster. True. And he certainly has the military to That's take a, the, the static hedge off. Of. True. Zis, what do you think uh, about that? Angelera, what do you think about that? I mean, Smuggler still has some kind of passive hack income from Underworld headquarters. So, I mean, it's gonna... Not some kind. Right now, he have plus 68. Yeah, I mean, uh, mostly thing. it comes from craft workshops, definitely. Yeah. Because he, uh, he don't he doesn't have uh, enough uh, Underworld headquarters. I'm, I'm not sure that it's a good option. Nobody for, has uh, any lands rad here. Nobody has any votes. This is clearly a non lands rad game. He's saying deny the right. He wants to deny the right. He's messaging Carino. He says, I have no cells on you. I only have him on Smuggler. Deny the right. Because that is the uh, charter that lets you search for infiltration cells before the assassination comes up. Wow. <laughs> is is Carino going to cooperate here? I mean, Carino is like this like wild card X factor. Like the guy like. You know, sometimes you ever hear of like beginner's luck where like the the guy like picks up a golf club for the first time and hits a hole in one? Is this gonna be Carino? <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine the smuggler gets assassinated? Carino just wins on Chome, dude. <laughs> uh, I think many people love this game, especially FFA, just because it's the, of this kind of the situations. Uh, in this kind of game, even if you will be the most experienced player in the lobby, it doesn't mean that you will win game 100%. No, it'll work against <laughs> you because everybody's going to be like, oh, look, that's Zis. He yeah. just won on Harkonnen through Chome last match. We're going to take him out, so make sure he doesn't get another win. <laughs> For example, I think Logic did this to Fizz. Like, okay, <laughs> it's Fizz. You will play like this. <laughs> I will kill him early. So this is actually interesting. So... Vernius right now has a huge upper hand over Smugs. Why? Um, they need to approach and prepare for a battle against the Smuggler army. And then what they can do is break their own alliance pact. If you looked at the Smug uh, tech tree, Smugs do not have all their red tech. They are relying completely on Vernius for most of their red tech at the late game. And he's researching So if he ends up blue. attacking here or breaking this truce, he'll be in the red. His stuff will have minus 50% power. Ooh, wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow! So does he know that he doesn't know? Maybe he doesn't seem know that. It. It looks That's like he wants crazy. to try to take this guy out. And so if he he can pull the rug, this this is what this up. is what we call the Vernius rug pull, right? This is what so happens is really when you over rely on that. You can take it. Yeah, nice. Keep that there. And look at this. Oh, he's missing. Right. The, he doesn't have the lands right. He doesn't have the lands. He's gonna lose. Oh, there he goes. Vernius breaks it. And there you Look, go, instantly 55 CP, oh minus God. 50 power. This is the first time we've seen this in tournament play. This. this is crazy. 
This is the first so time we've seen this. This is a moment. Play. 65 versus 55 CP. He's probably going to go to his tech tree and see what he needs to do to, to change stuff. He's right? disbanding units. Stuff, trying to get He's down. missing the last red tech. Days. He cancels everything. In 25 days, he can maybe put up a fight. Oh my goodness. So we have but a it, month. We have a month. But of he's 6,000 hegemony ahead, Kenry. He's 6,000 heads ahead. Can he. I know. I he know. has 340. He has 350 lands, Rad. And tax is hitting in uh in what ten days? He could just does he have a research center? Do we know? Can he head spike five K real quick? Oh, he doesn't he doesn't I don't know. What is I don't know what do, he's doing. Do any do any smug right players now. know if um what Ask what would Antelera. be a tech, a smuggler tech right now that if we're disabled if we're disabled, a smuggler tech that would completely crump uh the smuggler's chance of winning right now. Is there, is there a tech that is is necessary for their combat or for their hedge win? Uh, no, I no, not no I know there is no I mean uh, the only one I believe it's elliptic methods which uh, make you so you can take uh, regions w uh, what you pillaged for a long time you know so but uh, oh in, yeah yeah in that way I'm not sure that it's like a reasonable choice because. Uh, this kind of mark doesn't rely on uh, multi-capturing at the end, so... So, I, I have just Actually, told... It's hard to a, a, a birdie just told me he has his research center, so he's not planning, like, a hedge spike here. This is uh, mm. probably a mistake. So, okay, what, what now we what we Yeah, what we see is what we get. X engages this now. Go EMP! The, oh, EMP great goes EMP. down. Great wow. EMP. Wow. Yeah. Brilliant, dude. So he needs um, to get a second one ready ASAP. Okay, there goes the mothership. Okay, oh, what a good relocation, Great. dude. He can just re-engage right here. He can easily re-engage. So he needs to get his next CMP up ASAP. Yep. He's not building it. He has the intel, but he's not building it. Come on. But that was a great EMP, though. He that drone before it can get out. He's, he's working on it. He's working on it. And, and I wonder if it talks He got it. You know it. Here comes the Wraith. Is the Wraith a factor here? Is the Wraith a factor? The he doesn't want, to, he doesn't want a straight up fight here. He does not want no to take units. a straight up fight here. This is not affect, really what you want to do. It will only affect the human engineers and the hero. So the yeah, Wraith will do... It'll, I think it might slow them. I'm not sure. Will it soak up damage but from anything? or It's soaking up some damage at least. Like It's it's getting damage. But I'm not sure if that's from the AoE from the Resonance drones. That's also dangerous to use. I would not Yo, bring it over. Yo, the Smuggler Army it, just it, beat it, him with 10 less CP. What is going on here? So that was a bit of a blunder from Lolgek. He, uh, he had in his pocket the ability to take control of his mothership and use that against the smuggler. He's not player, tethered. Sort of PM Sag fight. says he's not tethered. Is that why he lost? Oh my god, PM Sag, you're a genius, dude. Unexpected insight from PM Sag. Not only a good tournament director, but a great spectator. Uh, great, he has uh, nodes in adjacent regions, doesn't he? <laughs> Everything is under control here. No, so he, he just up, up for great uh, craft workshops. Okay. He did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so we yeah. see the passive hedge trickle come down a lot. Let's see how much income. Yeah, smuggler. plus five for smugglers. Yeah. So now again, it's a lot more about static hedge and capping regions where I think the advantage would be the X. Definitely should be. Yeah, I mean, if only... Dude, I'm so impressed by I'm so impressed by Lockji here. Yeah, he he, he he should definitely get the tech that uh uh the operation. It's a 500 intel and slurry operation that lets you take control, or lets um it it turns mechanical units against another faction. So if you can imagine that situation we were just in, with the wraith. Deploying Toxic Vapors against the Smugglers. Oh my god, that was a huge plunder. Point. I forgot about that, dude. That would be the yeah. worst case scenario for Smuggler. Those that, are, that was all a biological huge... He had the units. ability to do with Intel and Solari, but I, I think he, he just didn't realize that's how it would go. Right. Now, the Wraith doesn't a, do any damage to his drones. This is a long, painful rebuild for Logic. He has a Solari to rebuild, but it just takes a little bit of time. John Drama says, Smuggler floating nearly 500 authority. Should he start capping... Regions here, Angelero. I mean, I'm just gonna check on Karina real quick. Mm -hmm. Uh, still nothing. Okay, Angelero, should he should he start should he start capping some regions here? What should he I do? I mean, he he has at least uh, two or three regions 
that are not special and I, I'm not sure how much uh, it costs right now because when I play and I have for example three special regions and one uh, spice field I uh, one region to capture costs only 100 authority and uh, if uh, it's uh, a village with siege it costs 70 yeah so then I can take simultaneously four five or even six villages but from this point I don't know if it's possible for him or not or not and X I don't know if you saw X X went for the bottom right wonders of the desert so capping he'll have reduced authority for capping special regions in this late game so he has even more of a benefit now uh to having this this uh, static hedge push let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Logic's mistake there, as soon as he killed Harkonnen, is he didn't readjust his army composition. He had way too many railgun drones there. Way too many yeah. and, and not enough resonance drones. And that's why he got slaughtered there. On top of him possibly not being tethered. On top of the fact that, uh, for some reason, Free Company, with those light armor units, they just like... You know why. They, they do the extra damage to light armor yeah, units. 50% more power, so even better than the damage. Yeah, so the free company against the uh, the Ix with, with the back line of snipers is the way to go, it looks like. All right, so Logic yeah, also snipers have high DPS and, and high ar high damage and high power. So right. they can bypass all that armor that you get in the front line for the right. vaccine units. Right, right. So Logic obfuscated the Crafts Workshop tech, which... Man, I don't know. Dude, look at this play from the smuggler. He's doing a run by on him on the south on the on the uh he's keeping him busy, so he he has an assassination uh infiltration cell queued, but I think at this point can he assassinate him before the hedge race is over? He might, because nobody knows how to protect correctly how to prevent it. I mean no nobody builds uh, new special bu buildings which uh, shows invisible units and in, i mean it's a huge part of current power of assassination so i believe i believe that our dearest friend logic has to start it right now logic has 777 intel why he's in not researching the backdoor hack operation for the wraith is mind-blowing yo smugglers capping the white rift boys and this is this is the power of stealthiness too take a look at how many units he has down south it could be one unit it could be five i know he has a bunch of free company and so right. you really need to stack up your militia and look, look he now he's gonna be caught completely this is a diversion out operation he just wants him to go down Brilliant. there and focus on the white rift so that he can cap or he can decap something else from him dude this guy is playing out of his grill right now he's amazing what a pleasant surprise so, from the smuggler. Unfortunately, the Carino player is like a spoiler here because the Carino player really should be making life a nightmare for the smuggler right now. It looks so, like he's he's collaborating with... Uh, yeah, there's with, some kind um, of collaboration. Yeah. We don't know exactly what it is. Carino look, is messaging uh, the Vernius player now. Yep. Some sort of backstab. Yep. Which makes me wonder what uh, Carino's chome is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at the operation. Yo, I think Logic, has 5K Logic's about to use the mothership. If I was Logic right diligence. here, I would use the mothership to get back to that node faster. He is assassinating. Carino is assassinating smugglers. Unbelievable. What? Unbelievable, dude. Just empty villages all over his backfield. Let me see this. Empty villages next oh, to his base. Oh, he just bases. started it at 26k. Will it run its course? Does he know what to do? Is he going to no, train he, an assassin? He may be a newer player, and he found himself in a very good lobby. There's no and assassin he's still coming here. out, though. You need the assassin. He might not Let's know how to do an assassination. Hope that he will not cancel it on 98% like PMSEC. <laughs> PMSEC! <laughs> getting roasted. He's in the chat, dude. Our tournament director is yeah, in the yeah. chat getting roasted. <laughs> Get roasted, PMSEC. No, I mean, you're sorry, PMSEC, but when you canceled 98% assassination on Spielberg, I don't know. I will so fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. How many we got a uh, wow we have a, a lot of people in the Dune Discord watching you know shout out to the familiar faces Mulholland shout out to Ozzy shout out to Vahutal 
Shout out to Brendan, Antonelle, um, the people that really like are the backbone of this community, play this game often. Shout out to the madman Carletto, who's probably talking all kinds of crap, but I have him muted. All right. Back to the game. What do we got? Yo, then smuggler. Why, why he do, 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 doesn't try to d defend? Like, I, I, don't, the... I think he, he doesn't have the confidence that he could win a fight against him straight up. He just doesn't have the confidence. And when I played Cone Packer, on, he was smuggler. And I, I granted, I got the assassination off on him at the last second. Dude, I couldn't win a direct fight against him. I had to, like, you know, coerce the lobby to do a 3v1. Quark's right uh, to Logic News, question mark. <laughs> so they're both assassinating him now. Cream, look at smugglers. Yeah, yeah, that's why he decided not to defend the special region. Because he hoped that they will assassinate him. Smuggler, look at the smuggler so, screen. There's two yeah, simultaneous smugglers assassinations. Yeah, smugglers have detected both. Dude, he has 500 operations. authority. Tax is hitting in three day, in 10 days. Just start capping, bro. Start capping. So yes, this would be a time to go up and take that special region next to Carino on the border. You get 1,800 plus... Thing. Oh, no, but the crafts works... Yo, honestly, obfuscating crafts works... He could double cap here and win on this turn. If he gets, what, two specials, right? Yeah. Yeah, he has two specials open, both next to the polar sink. Looks See, like I think he can one. just cap one special into average regions, and it's okay, already so be fine. Yeah, so, so, so both Vernius and Karina are taking specials in the middle. Yeah, and he spread his units out, and he's he's using cell search to start searching as many cells as possible. All right, so he's dealt yeah, he's with this before. Defend, he's trying to defend the uh, the assassinations rather than go for the hedge spike. You know what's amazing Carino, in this game? Karina, I don't he, think knows how to make an assassin, though. You know what's amazing in this game, Kenry, is this, Angelero, is how much of a non-factor Landsrad has been in this game. When when was the last time you saw an FFA game where there has been, like, zero value placed on Landsrad? Breaking up a little there, Cream. Can you hear me? Yeah, better now. Did you guys hear what I said? Nope. Okay. What's amazing in this game is how much of a non-factor Landsrad is in this game. I can't remember an FFA game where Landsrad was so useless as it is as in this game. Not that it's useless, yeah. there's just no, nobody emphasized it, you know what I mean? And yeah, no one's really going for a gov play here. Yeah, it looks like Carino's going for the special region. They're going to cap it. Th that could have been a, a hedge spike win for smugglers is capping that region that Carino just took and the one that um, Bernice was going for. But really smart use of assassination to spread out the troops. Right, so he's he's going to survive this attempt. Carino doesn't know how to refresh it, and Vernius is getting all his cells removed. Poor Carino, bro. <laughs> Come on. But he's not yet seen that cell in the corner yet, has he? Yeah, he's corner? not checked it. He has all these isolated little pockets, so he might say, oh, there he goes. Okay. So he sent a unit down there. Well, let's see if Olja has one more cell prepared. No, he doesn't. He doesn't, but he has a probe setup prepared for some reason. Maybe using it to look for um, assassins. Oh, Lolgek, you said. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, probes detects uh, stealth. So Detect, yeah, so be able to see the, the army and all the uh, what the smuggler army looks like. Given that all all the free company are stealth. This is where like your late game experience has to come in and shine right here. Um, yeah, that's what um, Ziz was talking about. I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like Logix. He's a little lost here. Don't know he, why. He doesn't exactly know how to proceed right here, and uh, I think at this point the clock's just gonna run out, and Smuggler's gonna take it home, unless something drastic happens. I mean, there's so, there's special regions on the right that are by themselves that are isolated. You go down there, you win one fight, kill the airfield, and you're good. But there is an assassination cell. Okay, I see it on Logic screen. There's a cell left on the Great Volcano. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. In the bottom we'll right, and there right goes now. the assassin. So this is gonna get refreshed. And smuggler, smuggler suspected down there. 
um, he sent a unit down already anticipating it. Right. The question is, will he protect it with the cell search? He has multiple places he can guess. This is going to be one of those last minute assassinations that's going to... Oh, happen. it looks like Lolkek is taking a special region right next to Vernius. You mean smugglers? The sneaky sniper. Uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, smugglers. Okay, smugglers. Okay, that's smugglers. one. That's is, is that smugglers game? Smugglers taking a region, a special. Uh, no, no, not yet, but he'll have 29. 29.1, so he can How wait for... How much authority a, does he have left? It's pretty far away. He has... He has 57. He has got 114 authority, so he can't. Maybe oh, he... Carino's coming in. Oh my Steel God, here. Carino's amassed an army. This is crazy. Finally. Gonna... Oh, double team smugglers seeing both flanks being attacked at once. Oh, this game just got so much more nuanced out of nowhere. We thought it was going to be a two-way contest, but now Carino's inserting himself into the mix. Carino needs to remember uh, supply. Which uh, might come into. Let's see. Dude, at 29k, he's gonna get it. He's 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 gonna lose it at 29k, boys. He's not gonna be able to stop the Vernius assassination. The cell is at the bottom. Perina types to logic. We can win. We can win. <laughs> 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 it's a, a Damon Forge comment, trying to get second place here in an also, FFA match. It's also an interesting thing that the uh, bottom uh, special region is uh, liberating right now. From who? Yeah, the the, the right Karino army is own. getting massacred, but actually, looks like the hero here, looks like it's Winsikia, is um, just trying to melee some free company getting slaughtered. And it looks like the half uh, half Hello, smuggler army might Hello, take the win here in the middle. Bro, please, just take another assassin is sent. I mean, the only region we sell is... Oh, Vernius is going mid and got EMP'd. Yeah, really, the, really wraith, good. the Wraith just died. Yeah. So, they are going to be able to decap um, smugglers here. I think Vernius is going to be fighting through an EMP, but still, I'd, I'd favor them to win. It looks like Raiders are actually decapping the nice. southern cell. So the raiders might actually cancel the assassination. They're gonna attempt save. To they're gonna cell. save the smuggler, dude. Don't go down there and kill him, bro. He's going down there to kill him. They're gonna oh, save no. your ass. I think Logic already placed one. Oh, and he has cell. admin burden as well. Oh, did he? Yeah, oh. I think so because I saw operation. His operation, uh, but right now uh, I do not see it. So I think he used it. If he loses it. He's going to oh, lose Oh, it's it. right there. He's about to lose You may not realize. I, I want to see if... No. Oh, is there a lag spike? No. Hey, he lost it. He lost that. He Let's lost see where it. this last cell is. I don't know. It sounded like he lost a region. I think he lost that southern region. He did. He did. Oh, oh my goodness. And let, he cancels the assassination. The raider saved him at the last second. <laughs> this is, <laughs> look, I, I know it's not looking good for Smuggler right now, but he's still got a 5,000 hedge lead here, okay? He's about to get, lose a little bit more, but... You know who's looking good on Chome? is our boy Carino, who still oh. has his assassination plot going. Losing What's he at, dude? Intelligent. What's he at on He's Chome? not refreshed. He doesn't know how to... Oh, I, I, I told you Carino, dude, somehow, some way, is going to find his way into this match. It's astonishing. Let's see, Quarks, man. Uh, what do we got here? Show me your Chome man, screen. I wish we could help, Please help pretend Carino. you can hear me and show me your Chome screen. He's got 6K in the bank. He's got a nice army composition, man. He's got some Landsrat judges in there. So he's using the judge of the council. Nobody has any votes oh except for Smuggler. Oh my god, Smuggler can cancel all assassinations, dude. The Smuggler is literally like it because, as, as you see, even if Logic could continue his, his assassination, uh, right now Smuggler could decline it because he has the most votes. Carino not understanding the vote. Carino just voted for Smuggler on that, which wasn't the way to do that. This this is excellent. I'm I'm loving this the the chaos of Carino. Yeah, and this is often how even even even, even in high play, tier yeah. lobbies, I'm telling you guys, even in high tier lobbies, there's always one player that's like an X factor, and then you never know who it's gonna be because of where their position is in the game at that point. So wildcard. 
This is so funny. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh my god, this game is so entertaining. This is going to be really tricky for, for the smuggler player. He's going to decap by two. He's going to actually try to... Oh, look at this. He's changing his sniper. Oh, okay. He disabled some sort of tech on his snipers. I'm not sure what. So, so the assassination, the the assassination this charger is very did good not go through. For him. So he can take this and drastically reduce the, the fighting ability. That was, that was clutch. He lost two engineers, which buff all the drones nearby. Uh, a veteran engineer can do that by 15%. So that was a bit of an error by Vernius. that sent out a drone or something to die. Carino just sitting back in his main base now. I wonder what his. I wonder what he's thinking, man. I wonder what he's thinking. Smug is calmly building underground headquarters everywhere at the moment. But but you know what? This is fascinating. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The previous player Lolgek is 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 asking, "Can I take the middle off of him? Do you have a cell in it?" Not realizing that Carino doesn't oh my know God. how to he, he, the spell, yeah. and not he canceled, Carino doesn't he canceled know where the spells are. The so he actually canceled it, thinking that yeah. okay, yeah, it actually yeah. looks like oh Carino canceled the assassination. <laughs> this is so funny, dude. This guy doesn't even know how to assassinate, and Logan's worried about whether or not he wants to liberate one of his regions with an assassination so he cell. Just, in he it. just bought another <laughs> six days, six days to keep the center, which might. Oh my God! Well, it's, it's not going to be a factor at this point. He he wasted I a lot. Look at his authority. I really look, do. Look at his authority. He's down to 230. He can't multi-cap and win this if he wanted to. Now we're going back to like a grueling, long-distance match. Uh, this would be a long-distance match or or potentially a dom. What what happened? Why why he goes back? What why what happened? Logic, my bro. There's what confusion happened? all around. I don't understand at all. Be be because he thought that Karina had to sell there. So the here's middle. a chance Karina for, for Smugs to go over and, and stop that decap, right? Oh my God. There we go. So he's sending his troops over. <laughs> okay. and, you know, this is one. He left a railgun behind. He could just send stealth units there. So watch how quickly. He, no, listen, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with his understanding of the game. That's the that's like the unit that you want to send over to kill the railgun drones this. because they're yeah. They're, so it goes look at that. down Boom. in less than a second. Right. And now the D is going. Now this wraith is a liability. He should leave it north near Carino, and Correct. not bring it anywhere near his army or Correct. anywhere near. Does Logic have the operation? Does he have the operation this time? Let yeah. Me look, he has it. Yeah. Then, so okay. this might be fun. a demonstration of how capital ships are a liability. <laughs> yes. Indeed. Divernius. indeed, indeed. Dude, I, I need to see Carino. Do Carino moving his army to the middle now? What is he thinking, ladies and gentlemen? What's going through Maybe his mind? Maybe he's going for the sink. Nope. He's trying go to, for the uh, sink. to flank the smugglers here with an army of Sonicar and Landsrad. And then Winsicchio. Interesting, <laughs> interesting army comp. He needs, he needs a supply drop. He has it. He doesn't. He doesn't have. He doesn't have bombardment, which would be really good. Bombardment, by the way, has been way overtuned. It like it kills whole stamped. armies. Yeah. It's nasty. It does friendly fire now. Friendly fire. Yep. It, the explosion on the enemy unit will also hurt. Smuggler going unit. in for a harvester harass. Your but oh, pro. Meanwhile, logic is losing one territory. He's. I'll tell you right now. I know Logic, and then as soon as we ask him about this game, he's not going to be happy with the way he played. Definitely. He's definitely not going to be happy with the way this went. Although the op he, obfuscation of craft well. workshops was so good. He's playing he, well, but like he's, you know, there's a lot of things happening here that are not great. Okay, we see an infilled cell on the center again, and he's. Built up another 12k, so he has enough to kind of replenish his army should he lose it. Uh, but yeah, he's he's still going with uh, three resonance drones, a few more fighting mechs this time, which I actually like against uh, smuggler snipers. I like it too. Oh, he's eyeing, he's eyeing this uh, 122 hedge or 122 authority hedge region in the north. 
Observatory Mountain. This is going to be a slow game decided on spice tax, I think. And right now, Vernius might... No, he'll be fine. You make it in 10 days. We've got 51 viewers on Twitch, boys. What's smug authority at? People want to know. Let's see. It's not high enough. Whatever it is. Smug's Smug at 316. Smug authority is at uh, 320. Getting plus 9 per day. So he can recap... He can recap the volcano down there. That's 202. He's doing he that right it. now. He's doing He's sending, that. Uh, yeah. So that'll, that'll put him back over 28k. And then uh, tax will hit. So that'll put him at 29. And then he just needs one of those regular villages yeah. right next to it his main. It was you, a big you know, mistake the from the Lord not to liberating the polar sink. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. And this this uh, region is taking. Um, well, he has a supply for it. Uh, there's actually a POI authority right above him, so he'll be able to cap one more region, I think, if he's able to get a couple of POIs. Vernius is getting some POIs for, for himself. Oh man, that is huge. The Chom Dilution. Yeah, so this can, yeah. this can give a huge boon to authority. And if smugglers have some Chom, they could win. But we can be surprised and probably <laughs> Karina can sell his shares and <laughs> start to lead in hegemony. Who knows? <laughs> so but, he yeah, needs to vote against the Chom Dilution. Definitely. Vernius is, I think, debating it. He's supporting it. So this is really the only way that Smugs win now, is he can sell maybe 100 shares, right? Get 200 extra authority, dual cap, and hit a spice tax. So it went through. Okay. Let's take a look at what the Smug is doing. He's got... What's he doing down there? Is 100, he just... 146. Okay, so he's capping, he's capping that. that. Tax it's will a hit POI. in 10 days. Tax in 10 days. There's a POI right there for authority. He just needs to capture two scrub regions next to his main to be sure. And then he's good. He's good. He can do this, man. He's got a hundred. How much would one of those regions cost late game, Angulero, for Smuggler? Right next to your main. It doesn't matter. Main. He can be anywhere, yeah. 229. 229 is the cost of annexing a region right now that's not special so and, and that can, and, and that applies to every right single region regardless of distance right yes yeah uh, except uh, special regions if he doesn't have uh, which he has uh, wonders of the desert so it, ah, it's okay. the same so cost that, regardless yeah it's the same yeah. Cost. right now he just needs to, to, to pick one uh, point of interest with authority to cap average yeah. region and basically that's all in like and he is one of the south, and he will win. Home to sell. So oh, yeah, look, sure. he can win right here. Dude, there's one POI right there. He's got he's got so much plastic in the bank. Just pick up the plastic POI, bros. Come on. Oh, oh, he's just getting pillaged. But it doesn't matter. I'll tell you what I mean, matters: those skirmisher raiders on the south, dude. If oh. Those, if you let those get yeah. a hold of your boys, that your boys are dead. <laughs> See what Lolkick is doing. Dude, we don't care about the Raiders. Lolkick Let him pillage. Is assassinating again. Another yeah. assassination from Lolkick. He's sitting on the space rack. Okay, he left his oh, free company down there. Cap. That was a great he move to leave. But you got to focus that skirmisher over there because that skirmisher is busted. Okay, good. He's focusing the skirmisher. I like it. Come on, Lolkick man. One is more going for a quad cap. A quad seems cap seems right like now. Lolkick he's is planning to head the spike. Let's see it. Yeah, he's selling his chome to get more authority. He's going to try to sell his chome to get more authority. Spike, he has four regions right now that are tentatively uh, that are occupied. Mark is typing something. He doesn't know what he's typing because he has no idea what's going on. <laughs> okay. One for Logic. That's one region. Oh! 
Raiders spawned on the space wreck and got rid of his um, unit that was on it, occupying it. Oh my god, these Raiders so are cracked. Like they lost it. He's not capping the region in the north either. Okay, there he goes. Yeah, so he has four regions that he's simultaneously trying to cap. So he might have to retake this, actually. Yeah, this is going to be back. So smugglers still have a chance here. They're able to do their cap real quick. I, I mean, smuggler just has to do it. Like, Logan, because this is such a down-of-the-wire game. It's actually unbelievable. He the should hype really is go real. back. Oh, he sees the cap. Let's see how he reacts. Come on, he man. Just kill back. those two units over there, and you'd be good. You see... He's the whole thing. He's Carino the hit thirty percent, John. By the way, two caps in case going. anybody was wondering, Carino at thirty <laughs> percent. Finally saw the numbers. So maybe okay. he's doing the math. He's okay, there it is. Case. There's the special. There's the regular. He's and he's capping one more. So that's twenty two hundred. That's twenty eight hundred. But he's losing a territory down there, bro. He's losing a territory. He stopped the cap. But that wouldn't be enough, bro. It wouldn't be enough. Smuggler would win still. No, 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 no. So what he's doing, if you look, he's he's cycling it. He's refreshing them so that none of them are yeah, capped. Yeah, yeah. They're all yeah. at the same. He's uh, selling when, no, it. It. It's time to get more authority. Okay, so he's, so he's capping three regulars. Cap. That's 1,800 plus, plus 1,600, right? 1,800 plus 1,600 is 3,400. That doesn't put him... Close but he enough. also oh wait a minute has a dude that center, dude fifteen percent no he has it already because he's not building a research he has center already, yeah. that means when tax hits if he's ahead of smuggler on tax he will win if yeah. he's ahead of smuggler on ahead. and he will be, be there we'll is be smuggler doing yeah. anything about this smugs need to cap is he doing anything smugglers just he sitting there this is unbelievable <laughs> look at, oh my god using the lands rad which was a non-factor. Can you imagine wow. if that dude that village is about to get liberated, bro? So the village on the bottom tax, left. I, I, no, I know, but the it. village on yeah. the bottom left is about to get liberated. Is it gonna hit before spice tax? This would be the funniest thing that's ever happened. Please, <laughs> oh my god. please liberate oh my that god. village, bro. Please wow. liberate it. Oh, please. He teleported to the oh my god, oh, what, yeah. a what a move. Brilliant. What a move. Brilliant. What a move. Yeah, Smugs, Smugs may have thrown that game there. Smugs, the dude, you I'm had it, bro. He had it. Oh no. I mean, it's the authority. The game, it's the second game in a row when uh, smart player just Shame. froze. Man. Well, well done. Right oh on. my goodness! All right, I'm gonna stop the recording here. What a game! Look at the development. Smart. Oh, that was excellent. Uh, I, I, I was in. I was in.